welcome to Synthetic Oil Protection. I'm your host, Evan, and today is going to be exciting. We got an autocross car, our good man Dylan. This is his 2021 Mazda Miata, and we're going to be doing quite the works on it. We're doing the 100% synthetic Dominator Racing Oil, proprietary additives for extra protection, zinc phosphorus for anti wear additives, and also less friction modifiers to make more power. We also got the uh, Dominator Octane Boost. This goes in, this is gonna help with pre-ignition and the high RPM, it's gonna run smoother, much more complete burn. It's gonna make way more power. We did this on my car and it did 6.4% more power with that fuel additive and the upper cylinder lubricant, which we're gonna show you later. And we got the engine flush. This is gonna go in and get all the carbon deposits out of his motor, even though it's like a brand new car. What he has in it right now is Mobile One and that's actually a full synthetic and they can call a full synthetic full synthetic when it's 25% synthetic. So this is 100%. So we're gonna be getting all that old carbon buildup out and getting the 100% synthetic liquid gold in. Hey, if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe. All you do is tap this little subscribe button right here and then you're gonna see this notification bell. You tap that hit all notifications, you'll get a buzz on your phone when we do a new video. We do the end of month giveaway every last Saturday of the month, so if you wanna get in to win, all you do is leave a comment down below. I randomly go through and select people for the giveaway, and it really means a lot for you to be a part of the channel. All right, so we're gonna ask Dylan, what all do we have done to this thing? What all's been done to it? Okay, so on this Miata, I've uh, had it since November of last year. So far, mods that I have include this Mishimoto cold air intake. All right. Uh, it's a fully enclosed intake. No air is going to be coming in from the sides. It's all routed through this hose out through the front. I've also got in the back, I have an ISR Performance uh, cat back exhaust. It's a circuit spec exhaust, so it's not going to exceed any of the sound limitations placed on at some tracks, which a lot of help. <laughs> uh, as far as suspension wheels, tires, I've got the Koenig Hexaforms in a 17 by 8.5 plus 45 offset wrapped in a set of RT660s. Awesome for, for performance and for suspension, I'm running the VC Racing BR Series coilovers. Those are going to help to lower the ride height, giving you more stability through corners, as well as make it a little bit more stiff, that way you can dig in just a little bit more into the pavement. Awesome. Anything else? Uh, as well, I also have a front sway bar by Flying Miata. That sway bar, what it does is it's going to eliminate some of that body roll that you get going through those hard corners. The, that body roll, what it does, throws you off balance, it'll make you wash out of that corner. We don't want that in a track car. So, flying me out of bar, it's good for the run. I love it, so stay to the end of the video. We're gonna be seeing him driving the car. We're gonna get his full review with the Dominator. All right, this is what the engine sounds like before the engine flush. All right, this is the after. Dylan's going to put in the engine flush. This is a very thin detergent. It's going to, uh, if you push down and then taco, yep, push down and then it'll taco it up. And what this is going to do is going to get all this old carbon buildup around the rings, timing chain, oil cooler ports. If you have a turbocharged engine and you'll see how thin it is. And uh, the turbos get a lot of oil coking. And basically oil coking is if you took a frying pan and never cleaned it, Sure, the part where you cook the most isn't going to have any carbon, but all around the edge of that pan is going to get all this black crap. And basically that builds up in the turbo screen on some turbos. And basically the oil is your only thing that really lubricates and cools it. So it's so important on those vehicles. And uh, this really helps get, I would say, half of it out. And then the other half will come out over time with the good oil. It'll kind of melt it out. But uh, now we're going to go ahead and idle her for 15 minutes. Before we idle her for 15 minutes, it's time for the Power Trio. We got the upper cylinder lubricant, the PI cleaner, and the Dominator Octane Booster. 
So we can start with the Octane Booster. This is gonna have a much more clean, cleaner burn. Um, I, yep, he's gonna shove it, go ahead, shove it in. And it's a little bit red tintish. This treats up to 15 gallons, and this tank's about 11, uh, Dylan was saying. And then this one, um, I use about every thousand miles. I find it does clean my injectors. I use this one every full tank of gas in my car. This one is the upper cylinder lubricant. That keeps from ethanol separation, and it also lubricates the upper rings that doesn't get um, lubricant from the crankcase motor oil. So it's gonna run smoother, quieter, and between the Dominator Octane Booster and the upper cylinder lubricant, they made 6.4% more wheel horsepower on my personal car. Yep, you can shove it in. And it's a real thin uh, lube. And it, uh, yeah, 6.4% more uh, wheel horsepower and torque, a lot more torque. And we'll throw that video up here in the corner. You can see that later. And now for the PI cleaner. This one is going to clean the injectors, the exhaust valves, uh, even on direct injection, it still cleans the exhaust valves. And it gets this flaky kind of carbon buildup that ends up, yep, you're good to shove. That's it, it just goes in like butter. A gulpa, gulpa, gulpa. And uh, he's got the hands of a surgeon, and he's not quite a surgeon, but tell him what you do at the Air Force Base. So on the Air Force, <laughs> I am a mechanic on the Black Hawk helicopters. Uh, typically our mission is for search and rescue. So locally even, we'll actually get calls every once in a while from the local PD, from say hikers in the middle of summer, they'll be dehydrated, lost, etc. And they'll actually call us and have us send out helicopters to go rescue, uh, save people. It's very important job, uh, very proud of what I do. That's awesome. I appreciate you serving the country. Thank you. Making everybody happy and healthy. I always say in the channel, I'm a little bit happy and a little bit hippie. Not really, but I'm always joking around. So <laughs> we got the power trio in. Now we got the flush and all we got to do is circulate this sucker. But Dylan watched what came out of these bottles. Tell him why. So whenever you go through your military job training, as I said before, I'm a helicopter mechanic. So I also deal with fluid changes and such. Uh, with the helicopters and whenever you're in tech training they'll always teach you look at the fluid coming out before you just dump the whole bottle because every once in a while you'll come across a can of fluid that's not quite what it seems so you want to catch that before it's all in there before it's too late hey right, we're gonna start her up let's do it give her a start all right now we let her tick away for 15 minutes Great. We're just going to go ahead and take off the belly pan. He's got the 12 mil. Wow, he's got a nice metal belly pan. That's real nice. So we got our 17 mil. He's going to crack her loose. And we'll give you the bird's eye view here. There she blows. Woo. He was a stickler. And now he's got his good old thick rubber uh, gorilla gloves so you don't burn yourself. And she's going to come out like a waterfall, a Chaco waterfall. And there she blows. So it comes out real thin. And I'll get you a towel. Got a towel there, we're good. Beautiful. And now she'll just drain down. And uh, what is it, about four and a half quarts coming out? It is 4.7 quarts. 4.7 quarts coming out. So she's just draining down. Perfect. So we got her draining down and we uh, jacked her up on the left side, passenger side, and that really helped drain it actually so it's tilted towards the bottom which actually helps it get more oil out we're going to go ahead and drain our filter so that's our standard thread on filter and hopefully he can get her by finger oh yeah she's oh good yeah to go. easy peasy lemon squeezy and there she blows 
So off with our STP, and we're putting on something much better, which we'll show you in a second. And here's your towel right there. And there's a close up of the filter, real easy to get to the housing. And there's your drain bolt right there. Dylan's doing some digging for gold. And uh, man, I never knew these filters look like that in there. That's hard to believe. That's an STP filter. And basically what I am looking for is within these cracks, crevices, is where any debris, metal shavings and all that, that's where that will collect. So the reason I tear these filters apart is to analyze how much wear I'm getting on my internals on my engine. So we'll say bearings, uh, camshaft uh, housings, all that. All those shavings that get worn off from there are going to be transported into that filter. So the more wear that I find within the filter, the less healthy the engine's doing. So I always recommend checking that filter just to make sure your engine's healthy. It's that time to put in the liquid gold. We're gonna be priming the filter. We went with the K&N because unfortunately, they, uh, Dylan said they were out of stock. So you know, some of the filters are out of stock, but no big deal with the M's oil. So we're gonna prime her up with our 100% synthetic liquid gold. And this is fortified with all your zinc and phosphorus, uh, proprietary friction modifiers for more horsepower. And uh, well, let's do it. Let's pour on Put this right here. Get a good close up of this beautiful, beautiful liquid gold going in. Oh. She's gonna booble over a little bit, and then he's gonna go ahead and go ahead and get her all nice and wet. And it takes time for it to saturate the media. And as we always say in the channel, if it ain't messy, it ain't fun. If it ain't fun, it ain't messy. That's why the wetter, the better. And if you keep your car lubed up, wet and protected, she'll always be happy. Dylan has a special message for you to remember. Whenever you're putting on your filter, only go hand tight. If you go past hand tight, you're gonna have fun getting it off. Whether you be stabbing it with a screwdriver and stripping the whole thing off, or sitting there with a blowtorch, good luck. <laughs> Upon analysis of our old oil, it looks very healthy. One little speck right here is all I was able to really find. So this engine is in great health. Now let's make it even better with some AMS oil. All right, so we looked at it and this thing barely burned any oil. Looks like it only burned about, what, 0.2 quart? That's about it, give or take. Now, mind you, this oil has only been in here for about 4,000, maybe 5,000 miles. So, didn't have that much time to burn off, but it's not bad. So this will give you a good idea what the PI cleaner does. If you think of a dirty injector, basically it shoots straight like this. And that straight shooting is kind of bypassing the spark and you're not burning all the fuel. So when you have a good clean injector, it atomizes and atomizes kind of this little mist. And basically you have all this air between the droplets. And what that does allows you to burn more fuel. You burn more fuel, you got a more powerful combustion, more, uh, more efficiency and uh, better fuel mileage. So that's what this is gonna do for you. We're making space. We're gonna make space for the Dominator coolant boost. He's gonna go ahead and just suck out two ounces at a time. We'll see if we can get some out of there. And this is good for all water coolants. She's a little bit of a stickler. All right, so we're putting in our tri-tiered surfactant, three tiers. This is a proprietary formula. First tier is gonna get you to warm up quicker when it's cold. The medium tier is gonna go ahead and disperse that heat better. And the top tier, up to 25 degrees cooler. So on this is a 6.3 quart system. We're gonna be putting in about seven ounces. So we're ready to go. We're gonna fill this a little bit. It's only gonna take so much. And then um, we're gonna have to fill the rest inside this little bottle and it's gonna take time for it to get into the system. But really, if you wanna make sure it gets in right away, you want it to go into the radiator. But this will eventually mix in. So he's gonna do about half that bottle, which is a 16 ounce bottle. Perfect. Should be real close. And yeah, right there, just Perfect. about eight ounces. Yeah, we're good. It's that time for the liquid gold. Our 100% synthetic liquid gold this right here is the very stuff 
that some people climb over mountains. Some scuba dive under seas. Others drool on buses just to get their hands on a quart of the liquid gold. And we're passing that to our good man, Dylan. It's his time to put in this liquid gold. Now it's kind of like you almost have to be quiet when it happens. It's so beautiful, so pure. All holds the funnel. And we'll see it go. The liquid gold. looks like honey that is gorgeous that is so beautiful oh I can feel the motor already the way it's gonna feel crazy so we got our four and a half quarts going in should be number three beautiful liquid gold oh, so gorgeous so good you can even feel the protection. Perfect. That's number four. Should be number four. I did number three, number four. And this is number five. Perfect. It's that time for the startup with the liquid gold. Let's do it. that time to put on the badge of honor. We've got the, the stickers going on. We're going to clean her up. This car will never be the same again ever after the liquid gold. There we go. out in the open road and we haven't even went a half a block and I got to ask him is there any difference just she half. definitely feels quieter she's running smoother already loving the difference wow and that's not even half a block oh yeah we just got out on the main road about to make our first right turn yep and it's almost like the motors not even there just so impressed with the build quality when I saw the belly pan and um, just amazing well in Mazda's own words they made the Miata their baby from day one so wow just beautiful she gets all the special attention I love it let's see what she's got so she's got only how many miles 14,000 miles on the Odo wow it's like brand new pretty much for 2021 not bad beautiful absolutely beautiful the block. Wow, this thing handles good. if it's 
safe and there's no traffic, we can do a perfect little first to second. All right. We can see what she sounds like. Sounds great. And man, the only thing I hear is exhaust. There's like no motor vibration. What engine? <laughs> yeah, it's like non-existent. <laughs> 88 degrees out. Perfect. So you said out of all the cars you've had, this was your uh, favorite. Absolutely. Wow. It's, for me, it's always been the combination of the lightweight and the agility. It makes this car feel just like a go-kart. Perfect uh, first to second. Let's do it. the biggest difference the rev through all the way from idle all the way up to red line it's a smooth power delivery i'm not feeling any inconsistency whatsoever feels just like when it rolled off the production line wow if not better and and what would you say the power difference what would you guess the power difference is between I'd the say few additives just from just from sitting here the butt dinos telling me i've gained at least three to five horses right there all right that's strong. That's strong. That's beautiful. So now we'll uh, we'll go around the block and we're gonna let him drive the synthetic oil protection machine. So I was saying, Dylan, I love this a lot more than the S2000. I've driven in, a, uh, I think it was a 2004 S2000, and this thing pulls quite a bit more. And she does pull very well. Uh, I haven't had the opportunity to go head to head against one, but. I've heard good things about both cars, but I gotta say, man, I'm a little bit biased over here. <laughs> <laughs> Same for me now. I I was blown away the first time I was in a, uh, not a Skyline, not a GTR, the, what is the JDM car, the Toyota? Uh, the Supra. Supra. That blew me away. I was at a coffee shop and we're joking around and so I guessed how much this car was. And I said, I'm gonna say 66 and he goes, and we look it up, it's the special edition Supra, all OEM, and they're going for like $90,000. And I said, all right, well, I said, will you give me a ride? He gave me a ride, and then I found out just how good those cars were. I couldn't believe it. They are an icon for a reason. <laughs> Dylan gave me the experience to try this thing, and I tell you what, he's right. You don't know what it's like until you drive one of these. Absolutely. It's, um, it's impressive, and the coilovers, I thought it would ride like really firm or weird, it rides, I think, better. I, I like it a lot better, and it's really quiet and smooth, so I'm loving this thing. I love it. Dylan is an experienced driver. He's an uh, air uh, mechanic on the, the you know, the, the helicopters, <laughs> and anyone on the channel like that, I always let him drive my car. You know, anyone that's a part of the channel, and uh, so we're giving him the whole experience. It'd be cool to get his uh, impressions. Be fun. So so far we've went about 0.1 mile. So what would you say the biggest thing is with it? What do you notice? It feels heavier than my car. <laughs> <laughs> so I was telling them this thing weighs 3950 and this weighs the weight of a Harley Davidson Fat Boy 
heavier than my old C5 Corvette. It's crazy. That Miata that we just got done doing that oil and other fluid changes, that car curb weights right around 2,300 pounds. Wow. So almost 2,000 pounds lighter than this. Wow. So a little bit of a big difference right there, but it's a solid car. It feels great. Yeah. We'll have to see how she performs once we put her under a little bit more load. Yeah. side lane right here just come to a complete stop right there just totally just stop it's a total dead stop dead stop go oh, brakes 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 and just just floor it go ahead to see how it feels It's a little bit lower than my car, <laughs> but man, she pulls all the way through. Feels great. <laughs> I had to give him this experience. I do. Yeah. That's fun. I'd like to see this car out on the autocross track. See how she does out there. I uh, know. I think it's going to be way behind. I think my old uh, Corvette, I could run away from myself if I. If I was in my Corvette with the Hotchkiss sway bars, the Bill Stein shocks, I had the Toyo Proxy Sport tires, mm -hmm. I think uh, I think on a small autocross course, I would be two and a half seconds behind myself in this car. That's my guess. <laughs> hey, fair enough. But a lot of times, it's more the driver. Yeah. But with a bigger car like this, you're going to be throwing around a lot of weight around those really tight corners. So. There's really no telling, you know, you have to get your suspension set up. Once that's set up, the only thing left is to see how she does. How does the turn-in feel in the steering on this? I haven't really done much turn-in yet, but so far it definitely feels like it'll have a pretty nice arc on it. And, and how is the throttle modulation? Throttle modulation is nice and smooth. You get a good transition from your low economical power. And for it being an automatic, how good is it at not missing the right gear and being in the power band? Well, I'll be honest, I haven't driven an automatic in a good while, <laughs> but it feels pretty solid with the shift. You know, it's got the right amount of pressure going into gear, so it's not gonna delay you from changing gear into speeding up again, you know? As soon as it goes to change gear, you're in the next gear and you're moving along. So, great gear shift change, great feeling overall. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, it's always cool to give someone the experience and see what it's like. You know, I I was never a big fan of Mercedes. I don't never like a not one to wear their shirts and stuff. And I love Corvette still as my favorite handling car. But I just ended up getting it because I, I wanted to share with the channel that the cars are all almost the same fluids like the oil that goes in this and the transmission fluid they're all almost the same and it's just taking care of your car it's not really so much the brand of car absolutely you know i hope you love today's video if you love it go ahead and slap that thumbs up button that lets everyone know it's a great piece of content and remember to leave that comment below let me know if you ever tried the dominator racing oil let me know what you thought of it we got hamlet the racer on the channel and we're gonna put him up here in the corner. You can check out everything we did to his car. Just so you know, we randomly select people from the comment section to be in the end of month giveaway. We give $100 gift cards, we give on snap-on tools, all kinds of really cool items. And remember to subscribe if you want your vehicle to run longer and stronger.
or what's our closing notes? Any closing notes you want to tell everybody? Buy Amsoil. It makes a hell of a difference for your car, and you will be happy with the results. Hey, if you want to try Amsoil, you can actually get it right down in the description section below. If you're on a laptop desktop, click Show More. If you're on a smartphone, you'll see the little teeny re reverse down arrow. Click that. It's going to open up a whole drop down to all the links. And the Amsoil PC membership is going to give you the very best value on the products. And uh, that'll give you the 25%, give you five bucks off for your birthday, and then five bucks towards your next order for every hundred bucks you spend. So the, the benefits are really vast. They also do all kinds of really good promotions. And when you use my link, I would be your personal Amsoil dealer. So I can always answer all your questions in the future on the products. This is what I do about 50 to 60 hours a week. And I, as I always say, I get up in the morning for one reason. I lube to love, love to lube. And that's what we do. We always uh, keep people's cars lubed up and protected. Uh, if you want to see more uh, action, check out this playlist here in the middle. And uh, if you love this piece of content, slap the thumbs up button. That lets everyone know it's a great piece of content. And we'll see you back next time right here on Synthetic Oil Protection. Cheers to protection, protection, protection.